Reporting live at 3 a.m. at Take One Studios in Markham, Ontario. It's live from last week. Episode 112. Let's go! Welcome my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless book before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So I don't know if y'all remember this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode. This was the work schedule that was given to me starting February 6th. Work off, work off, work, work off. Work, work off, off, work, 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 off, work, work. work, work. Off, off, off. Work, work, off, work, off, work, work, work. Off, work, off, off, work, work, work. Off, off, work, off, work. But I finally started that busy work schedule. Which actually had started over the weekend on Friday and Saturday night, where I had crazy busy shifts before I had one day off on Sunday. Then worked another busy shift last night, where patients needed ECGs for heart issues while I was in the middle of an isolation admission with another patient pulling out a central line at shift change. But luckily for me, I was able to speak with the schedule makers and voice my concern for this inconsistent schedule where they were actually open to switching a couple of shifts for me so that I could get adequate recovery and have more than just one day off in between my shifts. So when the opportunity arose to pick up tonight's night shift in exchange for tomorrow's night off, even on minimal sleep this afternoon and that crazy busy night shift last night, I'll be going in for a night shift tonight. So wish me luck for tonight, guys, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So if y'all remember, yesterday I was filming from the supermarket. Cause once I heard that I was working nights, I was rushing to get things and ingredients ready for dinner, including this baby. And taking down my beloved air fryer to cook with it for the first time in the condo in over a year. We took all the ingredients and put them together to make these. Ta-da! A brand new bucket of Jollibee fried chicken. Which I must confess to you guys aren't actually from Jollibee, but instead were made by yours truly for dinner in Baon last night. But to be honest guys, I couldn't remember the directions on how to cook these chicken drumsticks in the air fryer just like I did last year. So I went back to this throwback video to relearn how to air fry them. And after having this batch cooked to perfection, I was set to go to work with my meals for the evening. But before I did my commute, the wife and I had a little bet. Where I thought that the store West 49 was still in existence, but the wife thought that they had closed down. All right, we're gonna make a bet. <laughs> West 49 is still in existence, the standalone store. I think there is one. And I think there's none. We're betting, yeah. di what we're are we betting? $20 and an um, uh, prefix menu dinner. 20 bucks and a prefix menu dinner. Canada? Yeah. So where do I go? Go over there. There? This yeah. one? Yeah. Is that. Oh, what? Where's it? Where's it? Where is it? <laughs> Woo! I win again. I win again. I win again. So, guys, I guess that I'm owed some money and a nice dinner for the future. Anyways, on to today, where I'm still recovering and trying to catch up on some sleep. Recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, I got on the bike for a nice light bike workout and went online shopping to get some of these parts to get these things fixed just in time for my workouts set for next week. I was finally able to open up my Amazon package that I received late last week which revealed my circlips for my stationary bike that I desperately needed and was able to install earlier this afternoon. Having my bike operate just like new once again. Getting some new Fitbit watch bands for my Fitbit watch. 
which was used to replace this old broken watch band that was held together by tape and one single zip tie. I mean, just look at this baby now. And last but not least, this push-up board that I'm hoping to use in my future workouts. But moving on, after running into the doggo that our neighbor Selena is dog-sitting, named Rufus, we got to go for a swim using the condo's indoor pool. As well as using the hot tub here for the first time in a couple of years since before the pandemic. And now, on to tonight, since we've realized that it's been over a week since this scene, where we had to wait for new episodes to come out after this cliffhanger, the wife and I are going to resume watching the next couple of episodes of this Netflix show that we really enjoy watching called Physical 100. After staying up late watching a couple more episodes of Physical 100 last night, where these athletes keep showing off their world-class talents, and had to work in teams in order to move around a two-ton boat on the sand. I did honestly pass out, but I was still unable to sleep in. After yet another lackluster sleep. Getting up at the total inconvenient time of only 6 o'clock in the morning. So I decided to break out my laptop and work on all day my Live From Last Week episode that is set to come out on Friday. Then in the evening, driving through this less than ideal fog that surrounded the highways in Toronto, I was the Uber driver to drive the wife to the Pearson International Airport departures area to drop her off and say goodbye to her for the next week. Okay, wife, have a fun time in Iceland. Oh, always remember, Ektala Iki Islensku. Ektala Iki Islensku. Which means, I don't speak Icelandic. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. Hi. Bye. So that she can make her flight to go soul searching in Iceland for the next seven days with her co worker, Jasmine. After that, I saw that there was a whole bunch of traffic in the area during rush hour. So I did some research to find out where the closest Planet Fitness is to work out until the traffic subsided. And with the closest one being near. Woodbine Racetrack, it was only a 10 minute drive to get to the gym, where I saw just how busy it is at this location in the evening. But throwing back to this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, one thing that I'm pretty excited to use once they bring it in are these things called the rowing machines. I found that they had my beloved rowing machines located here. So I decided to do a nice little workout on this little piece of equipment to the point where I started to get a nice sweat in, having to take off my warm-up hoodie and continue doing this workout until I got a good cardio session in. I then got a random call on my phone from the sister who actually got stranded from a delayed flight that made her miss her connecting flight at Pearson. But luckily for her, I was only a 10 minute drive away and ready to pick her up so that she didn't have to stay at the airport overnight. <laughs> Welcome. Matching hats. Woo. <laughs> what the heck? We then used this time to go to the nearby Yorkdale Mall to surprise one of my other cousins at her workplace. Oh my gosh, I have a surprise for you. I do. Yeah, do? I have a surprise for you. Okay, look that way. Okay, look now. That's an awesome surprise. I know. I get a whole person! <laughs> Me! I then brought the little sister up to the food court to have her first taste of Chick fil A. Nika's first Chick fil A experience. Where is it? Right here? Yeah, right where are you? <laughs> like eating somebody's head. <laughs> yes. No. Okay, how is it? With a hint of bacon. Nice. Okay, bye. And after getting my own bite of Chick-fil-A in and driving through more of this Toronto fog, 
The sister and I are back at the condo getting ready to go out since the cousins want to get together on a random Thursday night while I have a day off. <laughs> So after going to the arcade in Splitsville up in Richmond Hill, where my sister actually surprised some of my cousins, since they didn't expect her to be in Toronto, living in Ottawa. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> we all wanted to continue our night by going to a local karaoke bar. But, as luck would have it, when we all got on the elevator in this building, oh, we, um, kinda got stuck. Oh, come on. And after summoning the name of Noel Domini Faldas, my cousin who works on elevators for a living, after five minutes of panicking, oh, Get us out of here! We're trying to get us out! <laughs> We were able to get out of the elevator to continue our night going karaokeing. Karaoke. You have fun. I'm gonna have fun. I'll definitely have fun. Karaoke. Sorry, Janelle. Woo! He's with me tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, to be honest, I had such a fun time last night with several MVPs impressing me with their underrated karaoke skills at the bar. Including Jordan, the imported karaoke singer from Reno, who was the life of the party. Where's his love story? Baby, just say yeah! <laughs> My niece Aaliyah, who impressed me with her Busta Rhymes rapping skills on the mic. And the panda, Murder Marv, who put on a performance for us in Korean. Anyways, after parting with the cousins around 3.30 in the morning, I dropped off the sister at the departures area of Pearson Airport around 4 a.m. to catch her 6 a.m. flight out of Toronto. All right, sis. Thanks for hanging out with us today. 
hopefully that now that you're at Pearson, you can get to your final destination safely. Not final destination. Okay. Semi-final destination, then final destination in Seattle. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> <laughs> then finally, passing out at home in Scarborough at around 4.30 a.m. The thing is, I wasn't able to sleep in and only got this much sleep last night. With the parents video calling me in the morning for the reason recalling this scene from last week's episode where we prank called the parents with me being in Ottawa without their knowledge. The sister and I did a similar thing last night sending this video to mom and dad. Hey mom and dad, it's... Hey Google, what day is it? It's Thursday, February 9th, 2023. So it's Thursday, February 9th, 2023, and I got a surprise for you. Uh, <laughs> what? Why are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, bye mom and dad. Surprise! Also remembering from last night, where the sister and I turned on Netflix only to have this screen pop up. <laughs> no! And honestly, we didn't know what to do. Remembering that Netflix is cutting down their password sharing feature, and with the wife having control of the Netflix account and being out of the country at this time, we just turned the TV off. Anyways, on to today, where I was able to get back on the bike and do a quick hour session on it, sweating up yet another storm, as well as doing a quick little cool down. I did a nice set of 100 push-ups before I go in for my shift tonight, doing four shifts in the span of five nights. So it's time to wrap up things for today, and we'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Guys, I just wanted to let you know about something that I got in the mail recently that has something to do with these videos that I took this morning. I received an envelope that revealed this little sarcastic treat. Yup, that's right. It's a little paparazzi photo taken of our beloved Minnie on a form that showcases my very first official speeding ticket. And the only thing that irks me about it is not the cost of the ticket itself, but the fact that I was fined with pictures from this particular speeding camera, which was in fact at the end of December on an early morning when there was no school going on at that time, with me going around 50 kilometers an hour in a 40 kilometer an hour zone. How petty. But even though I'm upset and think this is a total cash grab by the city of Toronto, I believe that I am not above the law, believe that drivers should always drive a safe speed and obey traffic laws, and I will go ahead and mail off the funds for this fine. But another thing that irked me about this speeding ticket package that I was sent is that the return envelope that the city of Toronto had provided for payment of the fine unfortunately didn't come with any prepaid postage or stamp. So this morning, post night shift, I had to go out of my way to buy a stamp and mail off that fine payment at a local Canada Post. And on the way, while I was heading home, I had to stop by at this location for a moment and shake my fist at that speeding camera that took that unwanted paparazzi pic of my mini. But moving on to better news, before I go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, and after doing a quick stationary bike session in between night shifts, we have a quick birthday greeting to the nickname Mama Bear that we used to have at the dance school that I used to dance with back when I was younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today, starting off with this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, with things like my special banana chocolate chip muffins that were this price in March, have prices blown up to almost 25% more than they were at that time. I saw while going grocery shopping yesterday that the price of muffins have risen to almost 150% of what they were last year. But moving on to this morning, post night shift, where I only got this much of a nap, I went driving to the local St. Lawrence the Martyr Church for Sunday morning mass before arriving here at the Scarborough Ghost Station. Also throwing back to this scene from previous Live From Last Week episodes, 
And after a couple of times of trying this baby out, I bought a new jersey for my ever-going jersey collection. We also got my dad to open up his Christmas slash early birthday present. Toronto Raptors, this is this right, this time, all right, you know, once again, basketball. <laughs> you got the right shirt Raptors. too. Wearing my Raptors jersey, about to take out my dad for his birthday to the Raptors game. Happy birthday, Dad! <laughs> Surprise! Hey, what you getting? Hey, Is that worth <laughs>
But yeah, this birthday shout out goes out to you, Tito Eddie. Happy birthday once again, Dad. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so, with that, guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's Live from Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what we've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.